Hi everyone, I'm just in from a night out. I was in Lanark last night and had a bit of a conversation with a gym instructor. Uh, it was about what you do with your air in the squat. My argument is that you always take a large breath of air, you hold your core tight, brace outwards and squat. His argument was that you breathe in on the down portion of the lift, taking a half breath, and you tense and pull the core inwards, and then when you're going up, you exhale on the lift straight away, instantly. Um, I would basically pick up flaw with that, uh, and I'll basically like talk you through why I would think that that method would be flawed. Um, right, I'll give you a second, I'll switch this light off. Uh, okay. So, if you're in a squat, and you pull your core in, take a half breath, and then exhale on the way up, you've got no core tension. If you're only on a half breath and you crunch over, which is, as everybody knows, is terrible in a squat, you should try to avoid crunching over at all costs, then you end up in this position. Even with a half breath of air, you're still really curved over. Now the difference between this and having a belly full of air and keeping your core braced outwards is if I breathe in from here, I can't keep in this position. That's as far as I get over. And if I let out air, then basically, like, obviously, I can crunch much closer to the ground. Really, really bad in a squat. Means that you've got no core tension and you'll just basically collapse. So, in my opinion, big air, big belly, big squat.